Hi everyone, welcome to RuCode. MCP, or Model Context Protocol, is a standard that enables AI models to access external tools, data, and services. MCPs extend the capabilities of an LLM beyond its initial training by providing real-time resources and thus enhancing its efficiency for developers using AI in coding. They can be an extremely powerful tool if used correctly. Setting up an MCP server in RU is really simple and straightforward. So let's get started. First, you need to identify the MCP server that suits your needs. There are many pre-built MCP servers developed by both individuals as well as companies that are available out there. Check the link in the description for the official GitHub repo that lists some of the most trusted ones. For this tutorial, we shall use the GitHub MCP server. Open the repository link and go through the readme carefully. We need to look for the installation instructions or the MCP configuration snippet in the readme file. The easiest way to install is usually an npx command. Copy this command to your clipboard. Next, open RuCode. Now click the MCP server icon in the toolbar. Now we need to choose where to save the server. We can save it globally, which allows all Ru projects to access it. Or alternatively, we can also save it as a project-specific MCP. A JSON editor will appear. Now you need to paste the configuration from the readme into this editor. When we save the JSON file, the MCP server will appear inside Ru as shown here. Many MCP servers require additional setup. For instance, with the GitHub MCP server, you'll need to provide your GitHub access token. Enter any required credentials or settings as per the server's documentation. After inputting these details, we need to save the JSON again. Once done, the MCP server is now configured and ready for use. Close the editor and click Done. Now let's test our new setup. We'll ask Ru a question that requires external data access. For example, what are some popular MCP servers? We'll instruct Ru to use our newly installed GitHub MCP server. Ru will now ask for permission to execute the command via the MCP. You'll need to approve this. For future convenience, you can opt to auto-approve requests from trusted MCPs. Once approved, Ru will utilize the MCP server to retrieve and present the requested information. And that's it. Our MCP server is successfully set up within RuCode and is available whenever your AI tasks require access to its specific tools or data. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.